Hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial video. In this one I'm going to be going over how to set up the FX and then also the expressions for the avatar from scratch. And uh, before I get into this, I just want to thank everybody who's been super supportive in the comments and even coming up to me in Vera chat and uh, thanking me for the tutorial videos I've made. It honestly means a lot. Thank you so much for that guys, I really appreciate it. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So first thing you're going to want to do here is load up your project. Uh, I have it all set up, so I got the latest SDK. Make sure you import that first, dynamic bones, and then import your model. And then once you do, and you don't happen to have, so let's go here down to playable layers. You don't happen to have an FX here. What you can do here is then go into your assets, right click, create, and you should see animator controller right here. And then you'll name this, I'm going to name it Tatum Expressions. But you can name it whatever, you can name it Tatum and then FX or Tatum Expressions, whatever you want to name it. Just make sure you remember what it's called or put it in a place you'll remember. So you can put it in another folder if you want. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it here. And then what you're going to do here is select your model scroll down to the playable layers and then FX you're gonna click this and then drag that animation controller you just created into the FX here and then what we're gonna do is actually create the uh, expressions into this FX here so what you're gonna need to do is get the animator here you're gonna go to that but if you don't happen to have that you go up here to window and then you should see animation and then animator right here. So you'll just select that and then it'll bring up this tab here. So once you're here, make sure you have this selected. So the animation controller selected and it'll bring this up here. What you'll then do is then press this little plus button here and then we'll name it gesture right for right now. So we'll work on the right gestures. And then what we'll do here is press this little gear icon and then set the weight to one. Now what we're gonna do here is go over onto parameters, which is right next to layers on the top here. And we're gonna press integer. And we're gonna name this gesture right. And then do the same gesture left. And make sure this is all spelled right. And then once that is correct, you're going to go back here to layers, make sure gesture right is selected. And then using the middle mouse button, we can move around our little uh, grid here. And then using the left mouse button, we can move any of our states around. So what these little boxes here are, are uh, called states. And um, what we're going to do with these is create the gestures with them. So what we're going to do here is an right click create state empty move this out of the way and now what we're going to do is then select any state right click make transition and go back to new state and we're going to name this new state oh we're going to name it idle and we're not going to put an animation in here this is going to be blank Next, what we're going to do is you can move this exit out of here. We don't need that. We're going to create another state empty. And we're going to do this about seven times because there are seven gestures you can use in the game for your avatar. All right, and then once you've done that, what we're going to do is then select any state again and make transition and we're just going to do this for each one of the new states we've created. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do is then select these uh, arrows going between the any state to the uh, new states. So we're going to go to the one for the idle here first. And under conditions, we're going to then select the plus button. Keep it at gesture right. Since this is the gesture right one we're working on, we're then going to have it so it equals zero. So when it equals zero, 
you don't have any you're not trying to make any expressions or any faces it's going to be idle so it's not going to be playing any animation so that's why we don't have an animation in here it's just so it doesn't play anything and then what we're going to do is then select these uh, the ones going from any state to the new states and what we're going to do is the same thing here equals and we're going to have this first one set to one and then what we'll do is do the same thing for all of these except going down and adding a number so this is going to equal two and then this next one you know is going to equal three pretty easy All right, yeah, and you just do that until you go down to seven. And then once you're done with that, what you're gonna do here is we're gonna go back up to the new state, select that, not the arrow, but the actual state itself. And um, we're gonna actually give this an animation. So if you don't know where your animations are for your avatar, for me, I'm just gonna look through the Tatum here, shared actions you're going to look for something called animations it should be a folder within your uh, package for your avatar and it's just facial here so i got all the gestures right here but if you can't happen to find it or you're just not sure where to look for it uh, an easier way of doing this is going over here up to motion and you should see a little circle right here you're going to select that and then type in like a an expression your avatar would make so usually a well-known one is just angry you can put in sad happy so this is the animation we're going to need do not select proxy so anything that has proxy in the middle is for your fingers so like when you do like the finger gun or the point that's what um, this is what proxy means so don't select that what you're going to want to do is just make sure you select the animation for the avatar facial gesture so double click that and now we have angry for the first one and if you are if you want to find where the rest are too you can just uh, left click on this and it will bring up where this is in your folder and it's usually right next to all the other just facial gestures for the avatar so that makes it easy and then what we could do here is instead of new state we could just name this angry so it's easy to know which gesture this is and we can just do the same for all of these. I'm not going to set up all of them, but you get the general idea of how to do the rest of these. It's just putting the animation in and then naming it. That's all you do for all of these. And you can have this in whatever order you want. So if you don't like angry being the first one, you can have it so it's maybe eyes half closed. And then you would just name it, I don't know eyes close for sure I don't know how you can name it whatever whichever is easier for you to remember this is kind of organized for you so whatever is easy for you to remember you do but um, yeah so you can change these so the first one I think I believe is just the finger point which is the first technical gesture you do you can always change that out if you don't like it and have it so it's a different one and then just kind of go down the line and change these to whatever you personally preference the gesture being. But uh, pretty much once you have all the gestures set up, what you'll then do is go up here, create another uh, new layer. We're going to name this gesture left. Make sure you then set the weight to one by pressing the little gear icon here. And then what you're going to do is select all these by left clicking. Make sure it's all highlighted here. And then we're going to right click and press copy. And then what we'll do here is go to the gesture left, right click, paste. And you know, you might get yours to look like this where it's kind of broken. And don't freak out. It's not bad. It's easy to fix. What we'll do is we'll move it around, organize it so it looks nice again. And then what we're going to do is right now it's setting uh, this layer 5 as the default layer which we don't want what we're going to do is make sure this idle is set to default layer and how we'll do that is select it right click and then set the set layer as default state so that'll set that back to default and then we can just move this stupid exit out of here 
because we don't need it. And then what we're going to do is then just go back through all these arrows again and change them to gesture left and then make sure it equals zero again. So when you go to change these to gesture left, it's going to have it so it sets it to equal. So just make sure you change that back so it's equals. And then you'll just do that for all of these. Again, super easy. You know, you get the idea. Just do that for all of these. And then make sure, you know, gesture left is set to gesture left, then equals that variable. And then gesture right, make sure it's all, it's the same parameter as uh, gesture right for the gesture right layer. And uh, yeah, that is really it. That's how you set up the gestures for the, for your avatar. All right, and then another thing too is, um, if you didn't know, when you go to create a, um, you need to create a parameter as well. So if you don't happen to have that, easy way to do that is just go to create, VR chat, avatars, parameters right here. And I'll just leave it as default name. It will have the VR chat emotes, face blends, all those set up, leave those. Those are what you need for the uh, avatar. And then you don't technically actually need a menu, but actually you do. So easy way of doing that as well is then go to VR chat. So create, right click, create VR chat avatars, and then menu. I'm just going to leave it as that, but you don't have to add any controls, but it is required to have that for the avatar. And then you'll just make sure to drag those in. So VR chat menu here, we would drag into the menu. We would do that. And then expressions go into parameters. So as easy as that. So if you enjoyed and found this video helpful, possibly consider liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, with that out of the way, have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.